Mexico. We finally just checked into our room. It's been quite the day, but I'll do a quick little room tour because I'm super excited. Come in through the entrance here. This is the bathroom. Nice and spacious. We're gonna disregard the toilet. The shower, you have that nice, what is this called? Like the waterfall shower? Massive, so I mean, this is perfect. Just towels, of course. I love how big this is. Sinks, and then also a nice little mirror because, you know, beauty things. And then all of the toiletries that you could possibly need. It does come with toothpaste, which is good because you could always use more. And then, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is for room service. So when you get stuff from room service, you just leave your empties and stuff and then they take it away. And then this is the giant light up closet. It lights up on its own. I mean, I need to hang my stuff up because I never usually hang my clothes while we go away, but I feel like everything's gonna get super wrinkly if I don't do it. That is all the space that you could need. This I think is just a wall. Here's our little coffee station. We have an espresso pod. We have our little espresso machine. Waters, all the essentials there. Trevor's taking a shower by the way, so that's what that noise is. We have the best part about All Inclusive, all of our snacks laid up we got our drinks i think i'm gonna actually you know what no i'm gonna save this for later we'll definitely be getting into that and then above there's more so usually they have like some sort of actual bar but it looks like they just have a variety of bottles that are all included we've got some tequila vodka all that good stuff this bed looks amazing i am definitely gonna be sleeping in basically every night or every morning that we're here because that's the best part of vacations and this bed looks perfect for that this little area i actually really like this light it says love and then this sofa when we come over here they have a little welcome situation i don't want to like mess it up because you know instagram photos got a bottle there and then some Fruits, little welcome letter. And then when we get to the balcony, so we got our little seating area. I don't think there's actually many sun for us to be able to sun down, but it gives you a nice view of the resort. And then there's also this little nook. And that is actually our own private little hot tub situation. So this you can't get in from here, but if you go inside, perfect. Nice glass windows. I'm obsessed. It's actually such a nice room. And I also love that it feels like more modern. I'm just gonna sit out here because Trevor is taking a shower, but I just wanted to catch you guys up. We're here for my boyfriend's brother's wedding. It's a pretty decent place to have a wedding. We actually stayed at the sister resort last year, Excellence Riviera Mayas. It's kind of similar vibe to be honest. We're staying in the Excellence Club side of it, which is basically just adults only. We much prefer that. I basically slept most of the flight but I'm pretty tired. We got here earlier than our actual check-in. We couldn't get to our room earlier because it wasn't ready and that was kind of annoying but because Trevor's family is here and his brother's here. We were just hanging out with them and we ended up going to their room. Basically like one of the rooms below us but overall I'm pretty happy with it. I mean like we're in Mexico. The weather was actually kind of dicey for a second. It started pouring rain so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen again for the next couple days. It's actually pretty warm. I don't know. I'm just wearing this because I had my bikini on so we ended up just taking a dip in the pool got some food hung out probably just gonna take it easy tonight the next few days i think are gonna be a little busy but fun We just had some breakfast. We went to the buffet. Trevor went to the gym this morning like a crazy person, but I was so tired last night. I just lay down and ended up falling asleep. I'm just wearing this bikini, which I think I got this from AliExpress to be honest, but it's like this little leopard print and then this cover up piece. We're gonna go down to the pool beach area, chill out for a bit. I think more people are probably coming through for the next little bit. So last night we just had dinner 
with his cousin. It was pretty chill, but I was so tired. Hopefully I can hold it together tonight and like not crash because I actually fell asleep with my contacts in, which is never a good sign. I also just got myself ready, put on just like this tinted moisturizer because it has SPF. Need to put some sunscreen on. I'm also trying to reserve my two pieces for the first few days because I feel like I'm gonna gain some happy weight, you know? I'm trying to just enjoy what I currently look like and then I'm gonna like basically live in my one piece and high waisted stuff. I thought you said you were ready. Oh! Holy fuck! I'm gonna my back after. Oh, here we go. Woke up from a nap, took a shower, getting ready for dinner now. You know when you're like out in the sun all day and you're like drinking and stuff, you kind of get tired, tired from doing nothing but sitting in the sun and drinking. I think that's kind of what happened. So it was really nice. Today was still a little bit windy, but overcast isn't that nice. Got some food by the pool. Trevor's family is here now, so I'll probably do dinner with them. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, but most of the places for sit down meals kind of requires you to dress nicer. There's usually some sort of dress code. Tonight is also the Super Bowl. So there's like a little Super Bowl party that's happening. We'll probably go and watch a bit of the Super Bowl over there or at least the halftime show, I hope, because I really want to see Rihanna. The lights keep turning on and off because they're motion sensored, which is kind of convenient, but also kind of creepy. You can't turn them off, but you also can't leave them on. That's why their lights are flickering. We went to the Mexican restaurant last night, went in Rome. It was okay. I would say it's probably not very authentic still because it's at a resort. It was the same at the last resort too. So you end up ordering quite a few things, which I got like five different dishes. I can't tell if I'm in focus or not. I had an early night. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I'm ready today. I have my nap. I'm good. Napping, I think is just key. Like if you're gonna be out all day, you need a little nap. And then who knows what's gonna happen tonight. At least I got some aloe. It's gonna be cold. Another day, another bathing suit. I feel fluffy. Oh my god! It's going redder. No, I can't. Such a nice day today too. The weather wasn't that good yesterday. Getting ready for dinner. It was actually such a nice day. I feel like when you're on vacation, you don't really want to put a lot of stuff on your face. The only good thing is that the stuff that I put on has like SPF, but I'm just gonna touch up on my brows, touch up on my face, and then we're gonna go for dinner. I'm wearing this dress. Honestly, we've just been at the pool and the beach all day. I actually have some color, which I'm pretty happy about. Very, very, very grateful that I don't get burnt because Trevor got burned like you guys saw, so he was having kind of a rough day. All right, change of plans. We're in this dress instead. I got this dress from Nordstrom Rack, which is actually not that expensive, but I just feel like it's, you know, more suited for the vibe. Couple rounds and me, believe me. So we down, I need to save her. 
love your body, love your flavor. Keep it down one week on nigga. Roll it up and sparks of paper. I'm supposed I'm highly tailored. I feel like every time that I catch up with you guys, I'm in the process of getting ready. But today is the day of the wedding. It's been such a nice day relaxing by the pool. We spend most of the day just hanging out, drinking, you know. Almost finished getting ready now. I'll show you guys my dress in a second. I'm actually pretty obsessed with it. And I got it on AliExpress. So it was like $12 or something like that, but it worked out. So I'll put the link if I can find it, but it actually fits pretty decently. I just curled my hair, which I brought my hair curler because I was like, I'm gonna probably do it for the wedding. I feel like I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot with my makeup because I mean, we're in Mexico. Also, I've talked about this before, but like I've only ever gone to one other wedding or I would say like one and a half because like there was kind of a wedding situation, but it wasn't a full wedding that I went to. I still stand by what I've said, but before is I think if I was to get married, a destination wedding is probably where my head would be at because it's like everyone has been having so much fun. You get to bring everyone together in a different place. Obviously not everyone can travel, so like that's kind of hard, but I mean, I'm not the one that's getting married, so it might be a bit stressful. Okay, I have three minutes until I'm supposed to be downstairs. Let me just show you guys quickly what I'm wearing. I'm trying to like cover the clothes in the background, but this is the dress and the room looks like an absolute disaster but that is the fit this dress is a decent length i'm gonna pair it with these heels which i'm gonna put on yes also today is valentine's day what better way to celebrate valentine's day than with a wedding right god it's so beautiful <laughs> you may now celebrate the union with a kiss Stand up, prepare those pedals, and I now introduce you, Mr. and Mr. It is, oh my god, what day is it? I feel like I look like a disaster right now. Just took a little nap. Yesterday was the wedding, so that was really, really fun and really, really beautiful. We've had such a good time. Some of Trevor's family are leaving today, so we're just enjoying the last day with some of them. This trip has been pretty chill. It's just nice to like spend time with family and not worry about trying to do too much, but this morning was definitely rough. I will say milk thistle actually works. I feel like I haven't been hungover. I'm just really tired today, but if you have 
haven't tried it before obviously not a doctor but it kind of like helps detox you so that's what we've been taking at night and i feel pretty good today but i am really tired took a nap i'm ready to go so this room is a disaster i really don't like getting it clean every single day because i feel like we don't need it having people come in and out is a little bit weird for me but i'm definitely gonna get it clean once i head out trevor's already down by the pool so i'll go meet up with him tomorrow we are gonna do the hydrotherapy so that's at the spa we did it last year at the other resort it's like a treatment with water you go from hot to cold to steam and everything like that it's actually very invigorating so we have our appointment in the morning friday is our last full day i think we're going to try to do some water activities because we haven't done that yet and i'm just having such a good time loving life day in Mexico. I feel like an absolute whale. I can't believe it's the last day but also it feels like it's been the perfect amount of time because there's only so much food and drinks you can have but I'm living in this one piece because I'm feeling kind of fluffy. We're gonna just hang out. We have a jet ski booked. We're gonna go to Hibachi which is gonna be really fun tonight and then just enjoy our last day here. It's been such a good trip. We are leaving bright and early tomorrow. Our transfer comes to pick us up at 7 40 so there's really no time that we're gonna have so this is our last full day and everyone else has left now i think we're gonna be the last ones leaving if not like one of the last i definitely got some color while i've been here which is what i wanted so hey. <laughs> 